boss. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me? I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. And it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One. What a shame. Two. It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. A living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, Bullet. This is exactly what I want to correct. You just walk into my office with a loaded gun. Where's the friendship? Where's the respect? What about your respect, Dimitri? For everyone. Ekaterina Nechaiva, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. I tried to bring Vesna back to life when her brain was literally ripped in half. I wanted to restore her right and left hemispheres, but the process was too complicated. What the shit? But why? You're already fucking with people who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you are acting in my best interests. Well, why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sir Gay. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call up the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Charita, not you. Crispy critters. Can we just... 
Just stop fighting! Get rid of Jericho! You lousy Sergei, piece you don't of understand. shit. Sheridan's manipulating you. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Sheridan, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've had quite enough of you, Major. Your job is done. My boy, get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside. Make way for the next phase of its evolution. Me. Jarrison, you're pure evil. 
What? What are you going to do to humanity? And collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Don't, Charity. No. I changed. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. If you leave me here to cry 